Your gut is one of the most resilient parts of your body, in the sense that every day, different kinds of materials enter it, and it has to make sure to process every one of them properly. However, a situation that only suits a few individuals is known as a leaky gut. Today's video is going to focus on exactly that. We will discuss what a leaky gut is, and our main focus will be its symptoms. Finally, in the end, we'll be telling you ways to care for your gut and how it deserves to be taken care of. Before we get into the video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let us get right into it. What is a leaky gut? Harvard Medical School describes a leaky gut as an unhealthy gut lining with large cracks or holes. This allows partially digested food, such as toxins and bugs, to penetrate the tissues beneath it. When the gut works properly, it forms a tight barrier that controls what gets absorbed into our bloodstream and what doesn't. As harmful agents enter our body, they tend to trigger inflammation and change the gut flora. Although, studies have yet to figure out the exact cause. Modifications in intestinal bacteria and inflammation play a crucial role in developing a wide range of diseases. So, to summarize this part, a leaky gut can disrupt the entire system of your digestive system. Furthermore, worse conditions can arise if not identified and treated early. Let us now look at the five major symptoms of a leaky gut. This is going to be super helpful, so make sure to stick to the end of the video. Major Symptoms of a Leaky Gut Burning Feeling of Ulceration Medicine of today does not welcome perspectives from individuals. Instead, facts and figures are thought to be of greater credibility. And rightly so. A burning sensation is one of the most popular symptoms of a leaky gut. This could be due to several reasons, such as acid reflux, gastritis, or peptic ulcers. There are several explanations in this area because it has been proved by medical literature coupled with diagnostic methods. Contact your general physician immediately if you experience persistent symptoms, including a burning feeling in your gut. The quicker tests are carried out, the faster you'll get to know whether it's a leaky gut or gas that could be leading to another condition. Diarrhea Coming in at number 4, the next symptom on our list for a leaky gut is diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea can result from multiple conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease, infections, or certain gastronomical disorders. Prolonged inflammation or damage to the intestinal lining might also contribute to this permeability. Different factors cause diarrhea when the absorption of water and electrolytes in the intestine is disrupted. Common causes of diarrhea include infections, dietary factors, medications, and stress. Hormonal imbalance One symptom of a leaky gut, which almost qualifies as one, is hormonal imbalance. It takes number three on our list. This symptom is still under investigation since there isn't conclusive evidence to develop a direct contact between this symptom and a leaky gut. Hormones are essential in regulating different physiological functions, such as that of the gastrointestinal tract. Studies suggest that hormones like cortisol, usually associated with stress, can influence gut permeability. Chronic stress could impact the integrity of the intestinal lining. That's not all. Hormones like estrogen adversely affect the immune system. The development of a leaky gut influences immune dysfunction in several studies. That being said, the evidence we have on our hands is not conclusive. More studies are required to confirm that hormonal imbalance drives leaky gut syndrome. Anxiety and Depression Stress and mood disorders tend to influence the gut microbiota. The gut microbiota includes the community of microorganisms in the digestive tract. Gut bacteria imbalance, known as dysbiosis, has been implicated in intestinal permeability. It is also important to note that even though there is emerging evidence that relates anxiety and depression to a leaky gut, there are several facts that still need to be established. That isn't to say that anxiety and depression cannot be considered as a leaky gut. These mental symptoms alter our gut, so it only makes sense that they can contribute to a leaky gut. Hopefully, the research in this area will help actualize our current statements. Painful indigestion from the loss of intestinal mucosa this one was a usual suspect, wasn't it? Painful indigestion from the loss of intestinal mucosa is the discomfort of pain during the digestive process that may be attributed to damage to the protective layer, also known as the mucosa, that lines the intestines. The mucosa plays a crucial role in preventing harmful substances from entering the bloodstream and aiding in nutrient absorption. 
It increases mucosa permeability, allowing irritants such as bacteria or undigested food particles to interact with sensitive nerve endings in the intestine. If you experience persistent painful indigestion, then the most logical thing to do would be to seek medical aid. Getting to know the root cause of the problem can lead to a lot of clarifications. Several tests for the gut will be carried out to test it, but once it's done, you can be sure that you'll get to know what it is. One of the possibilities could be a leaky gut. When was the last time you went to a doctor because of painful indigestion? Care to tell us? Now that we've looked at the major symptoms of a leaky gut, it is time to move on to the next major part of this video, knowing how to take care of your gut. How to improve your gut Scientists have continued to investigate the benefits of several therapeutics to improve the general health and integrity of the gut lining. These therapies might not be able to get rid of a pathological disease, that's a given. However, they will allow you to mitigate factors such as diet, stress, and bacterial overgrowth in your intestinal lining. Here are some therapies that you can benefit from as far as your gut is concerned. Probiotics Tons of probiotics are tested separately for their ability to restore our gut's barrier. Probiotics maintain the health of our gut lining. They prevent the overgrowth of the wrong bacteria in our gut, particularly our small intestine. Many people disregard probiotics by calling them fake medications, but they have been proven to work. Other benefits of probiotics include improving bowel regularity and digestion thereby reducing discomfort. Reduction in body discomfort is a great sign, showing that the prebiotics work. Additionally, the more sound your gut is, the lesser chance you have of a leaky gut. Prebiotics Prebiotics are foods you eat that are good for the bacteria in your body. You eat these foods to give your body good bacteria and a chance to fight against diseases. Prebiotics usually consist of plant fibers, so there's one more solid reason to eat your vegetables. Ensure that you follow the recommended daily allowance for prebiotics because if you eat a lot of them, that could also be harmful. A lot of green vegetables going into your system can put you at risk of diarrhea, kidney problems, bloating and gas, and a higher risk of allergies. As we all know how lousy bloating and diarrhea are for the gut, like we told you earlier in the video. Don't close the video just yet, because we're entering into the final minutes of the video, where we'll be giving you a few more ways to take care of your gut. Nutrition The solution to every health problem in life is to alter your eating habits. This isn't a quote taken from a book of a visionary. This is the truth. Think about it. Why do we get most health problems in the first place? It is because the food that we eat isn't fulfilling its purpose. Therefore, we will remind you of the golden rule of eating food a balanced diet. As long as you complete the required intake of macro and micronutrients, then there's nothing to worry about. The problem comes when you consume too much of a single food group. That reminds us of the forever guilty parties, fats and sugars. Fats and sugar encourage the growth of the wrong kind of bacteria in our bodies. To make things worse, they trigger the release of harsh dietary emulsifiers that can harm your gut. So if you plan to reduce fats and sugars in your body, now is the time. A leaky gut isn't the best thing that could happen to your gut, but it is also not a problem that cannot be fixed. All the symptoms we discussed in the video can be improved if you take the proper diet and introduce prebiotics into your gut. Age and mental well-being play their roles too. But as long as you eat the right food, a leaky gut should be the last thing you should be worried about. Give yourself a high five if you made it to the end of this video. In our next video, we'll go through the best anti-inflammatory fruit in the world that is packed with a ton of benefits. So, make sure you don't miss it out. See you next time.